let's now write a test with exception and whenever the exception is triggered and thrown then we need to expect assert that exception also so with that i'm your host sarthak and this is a channel where i talk about laravel and the cool thing about laravel so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the notification so i'm going to write a test here and the test will be like a user or i can say a minor user cannot buy alcoholic beverage this is the test i need to create so what are the steps we need so obviously we have a alcoholic beverage so alcoholic beverage then we have a minor user this is most important thing and that minor user is logged in so logged in okay then we need to say that this minor user is going to buy beverage and beverage is alcoholic then we should expect an exception so expect exception okay let's try one by one so alcoholic beverage yes we are having this beverage but it's not alcoholic because in the factory we have defined is it as a soft drink so why not grab this and create a new one for this test only and this is just a beverage and now we will override that type and type is alcoholic okay this is good so that is done now how we will get the minor user so it's like simple thing firstly we need a user so user which is like factory for the user and user app user class and make one but this particular user has to be minor so we need to pass age attribute as and let's call it 17 so minor means less than 18 so that's 17 okay and now we need to make sure this user is logged in so here we have a new function called b b is just like a login or acting as one more thing so let's use acting as and user so this particular line just acting the user as a logged in user then buying the beverage okay so we have the beverage so beverage we have and let's just buy it that means the user the logged in user is going to buy it that's okay but now we are going to expect exception so this arrow expect exception and what the exception you can be generic about exception or you can create your own exception so suppose you are creating a own exception so that will be minor cannot buy alcoholic beverage uh, alcoholic beverage exception a little long one and this is, has to be a class okay so structure is done so let's run the test and we know it breaks and it says no test executed so the problem is here we need to give the dog box and good run the test and it fails and failing because it says you don't have the buy function on your beverage model that's why it's giving problem okay so this is good so let's create the buy so let's go to beverage model and here create that function so function is uh, by and what we are going to do here if the user if authenticated user obviously auth user is minor if authenticated user is a minor then we will going to throw a new and the exception name is this little long one this exception okay otherwise we are going to just return 
true for now obviously in a real project you are going to write your logic for the buying of the beverage that's good let's once more run this test and this time it says is minor does not exist mm -hmm. good so here we are using user is minor so this is minor uh, function is not available on our user model so let's go to the user model and create a new function create a function called is minor and this is just going to return if this arrow age that means the user age is less than 18 then we will say true otherwise false super cool things one more time run the test it fails as usual and now it says class this exception is not there so let's create the exception here so php artisan make exception an exception name is this one which is created and you know exceptions are inside app exception and i need to refresh my vs code sometime it creates problem so this time you can see minor cannot buy alcoholic beverage exception is here so let's import this at the top here and also inside beverage so yeah this one once more time run the test this time it says this is an exception but what i have to do with this actually you need to put this exception accept exception code before the task where the exception is going to thrown so here we are expecting that exception will be thrown so why not move this above this by and yes now we have told to our test that okay we are going to expect an exception which is this one and then after if the exception is not thrown then it will give error so if i run this yes it is passing and this means the exception is thrown so what if i go to uh, the beverages and change the name of the exception run the test previously and it fails it says there is some problem with your exception okay that's okay so this is good but what if i change the age and make it not a minor the major or the adult one okay so run the test and it fails and again it fails this proves that yeah it's working fine but the problem here again is that you know in reality our user model doesn't have any age attribute so we need to create another test which is for a user test so why not go to this and let's let's just put that that on example test just for uh, the purpose of showing you so function name and it's like uh, user has age attribute okay so spelling attribute okay so this is the test we need to create so this will be like at test and now this will be given a user so user and age attribute is not null this is the thing we need to make sure so let's create a user so user is using the factory and factory is user factory user and class make one this is good uh, this one is good <laughs> and then we are going to this arrow assert not null so not null or yeah this one and assert not null of user arrow age good to go and make sure this has to be at so run the test and yeah it fails why because we don't have any attribute so let's give an integer of age good and now in the factory on the user factory we need to provide the age also so age is default let's say 17 or you can use faker library to create any random number so faker and you can use number between and i will call let's try to between 10 and 50 so this will be the case and now we will close this and run the test which is now passing that's good cool so here 
let's try this one and yes it's also passing so in this way you can use exception and obviously logging the user and then check whether you can uh, whether the logged in user can able to perform some action which is restricted or not so if you have not subscribed to this channel go and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications and don't forget to share these video with your developer friends like bit films on facebook twitter instagram and linkedin so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye